Hi and welcome. Surprise! I have something new for you today. It's me. I'm trying to remember to look at the little dot here too. Um, yeah, I'm, gonna tr I'm trying something different so you, you finally get to see my face. So hello and this is my um, Ikea cabinet. Down below is where I keep all my paper and stamps and um, ink is over that way. You don't get to see that way yet though. <laughs> How are you? I'm gonna Try not to lean too far forward, but I do need to refresh my screen. So, um, yeah, tonight we, we are doing something different. And hopefully I'll keep doing it that way, too. Give me one moment. I um, just want to make sure it looks like it's working. It is working. Yay. Hello. So if you're new to me. Oh, hello, Kathy. I can see them on the screen. I can see comments on the screen. Now I won't be able to answer them all, mind you. <laughs> Um, and Julie, yeah, this is so different for me because all you've ever seen is these. Now you get to see my face, my neck up. <laughs> um, what was I going to say to you? Um, if you're new to watching, if you're watching live here on Facebook or the recording on um, YouTube afterward, um, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the bell, click the bell so you know when I'm going live and if you're on Facebook then follow me like me comments all that fun stuff that really helps um, one little reminder um, if you missed last week's video here's the cards here's the cards you can pick that up on YouTube lolly and sand that's the adorable owls so get rid of that how is everybody oh my goodness Ooh. I was so nervous. My daughter says, what is wrong with you? I said, I'm nervous. I'm doing a live and I'm showing my face. The face you never see, but now you do. So, yeah, this is um, interesting. Um, what was I going to tell you? Let's see, what I, let's see what I wrote. Okay. Oh, in case I didn't say it, I'm Sandy of Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. So tonight's card... Um, I cased it from, let me just get her name, or her name of her, Stamptastic Designs. So I found her on YouTube, and I did make a couple changes to the cards because that's what we do, right? That's what demonstrators do. We change things. Um, but I think you'll really like it. Um, we did, we actually did this card in our team meeting uh, last night. So I see a couple, a couple of team members here. So you've seen this card but you haven't seen me make these cards. You saw the other one. That's too confusing. Anyway, oh, I think I've talked long enough. Nervous, 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 nervous. And I keep forgetting, look there, don't look there, don't look there, don't look there. All right, I'm going to make you a little bit nauseous maybe. So avert your eyes. I'm going to turn the camera and hope it works. Okay, covering, turning. It works so easy in practice, you know. And... Turning the camera around, well, that's in a different spot. You don't want to see my ceiling. Where did they move it? Oh, here. It's funny when I was practicing this, it was all um, it was all in the top corner. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer so I can reach better. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna I'm just gonna stand up and make sure you can see everything. Alrighty, so what you can see is part of my stand. This is my host code, brand spanking new. So, uh, that's what you use when you're ordering with me. I'm just going to say a couple more hellos and then get straight to it. Hey, Elsie. Hey, Marjorie. Welcome, welcome. And back to the screen. Okay, so tonight, I don't know if you've seen this one or not. Um, it's the Ginkgo Branch. I hope I said that right. Uh, bundle. And it's in the new mini. And... When I saw it and I saw this particular design, what is in the way of the camera? What is this? Let me move down. What am I doing? What is Sandy doing wrong? <laughs> I don't know why there's the dark spot over there. Oh, excuse my hand again. <laughs> wow, you get to see my hands again. You do get to see my hands. Okay, whatever that was, it looks better. Okay, so when I saw this in the mini catalog and I saw this, I went, there is an opportunity to play with colors. And that's what I'm going to do tonight with you while we make our fun fold card. 
um, the other thing I really liked about this is I don't have a lot of sympathy. Um, I have a lot of sympathy. I'm sorry. I have a lot of sympathy, but I don't have a lot of stamp sets that have, with sympathy, just in nice writing, nothing flashy. It's just really pretty, and they stamp beautifully. Um, so that's another reason why I wanted this one. Friend, sending hope and peace, thinking of you. Can't go wrong. So I'll show you how the dies work. Um, this cuts out this. This cuts out this. This cuts out this big guy. And these, I will, oh, you're going to see it in the first card. No, second card, um, how, how this cuts out. And it's absolutely stunning. So if you didn't consider this, you might want to take a look at it. I just like it for versatility because I know, I know, I looked up the color of these um, branches. The, this, yeah, not the colors I'm using, just so you know. <laughs> I'm going to change things up. So let's get card number one out. Now, having said that, card number one, um, because I'm using, I'm going to use three colors to color the image, I'm using my Stamparatus because I don't know about you, but it is absolutely impossible, impossible to stamp in the same spot unless you have a clear stamp. And this is not a clear stamp. And I have to move this up again. I don't think you're getting the entire picture. Hmm. Just looking to see. Oh, there's Bea. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can. Maybe I have to. No, I can't move my. Oh, maybe I can. Hang on. Sorry, I got to move you again. I want you to be able to see right down to the bottom. Or what I could do is this. Watch this. There, I can move this up. Ha! Huh. There is a solution. If you don't have the stamp apparatus or a stamp positioning tool, um, I think you're going to want this. So I just cut out a piece of paper. This is not specific because it, it's getting cut anyway. And I've already placed the image on here, but I'll show you how you would do this. Place the stamp down like so. If you're using um, a photopolymer, then you, there's a little foam pad that comes with it. Well, little, it's the size of this. And you're going to use that. So all I do is it's going to grab it and put it here. And we're going to ink right here. I'm going to grab my stamp set again because it's really great for holding up this door. All right, do you want to see what colors we're using? This is kind of crazy. We're using f Fresh Freesia, Shaded Spruce, and Rich Razzleberry. What? That should be interesting. So I'm starting with the lightest color first. To apply the other two colors, I'm going to be using... Um, oh, good gracious. Oh my goodness. Why did I forget? I'll think of the name of them. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm looking right at them. These guys. Daubers. Sponge daubers. Got it. Okay. Now, there's going to be a fair bit of ink here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is start very light. You know, not usually what we do. Really, really light. But it's what I'm doing. So let's close that. And you want to push down. Every time I did this, I did, I think, four of these. And I couldn't get this corner because I always, I was forgetting to push down. So you need to push. Sorry about the glare. That's my light. But we need light. Otherwise, you can't see what I'm doing. That's as light. I don't want it any darker than that. So that was Fresh Freesia. We'll move that aside. I'm going to come in with Rich Razzleberry. Mm, you know what I need? Aha. Un momento. I need a little little place to dab off some of the color because I don't want to go not so crazy with it. So this is Rich Razzleberry, and I believe it's, yes, it is this one. And this dot, 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 take some of it off and make sure that's in frame. It is. And then I'm just going to add some to the bottoms of the branches. And see why we do the light first, because you would never want to do the dark first. Well, you couldn't <laughs> do the dark first, but you would not put dark into a light pad. Have I done it? Absolutely. Can it be fixed? Yes. You have to wash your ink pad completely, basically starting from fresh. And uh, there we go. And then re-ink it. So try not to do it. If you're really lucky, it, it can be dabbed up and you're fine. Okay. Not enough, so we add some more. 
you know you know where you want your color maybe I have to stick to the outside I was going to re-ink this you know and I didn't and there's another thought if you don't have re-inkers especially when especially for ink colors you know they go away every two years you want them because um, you notice that my that this is this is second generation of um, ink pads this is when we switched we had the same case but we, we switched to this kind of foam mat all right let's try that again I'm not gonna close it yet I want to get some of that color on there there we're starting to see some color I don't want to go crazy um, I really don't want to go crazy because I'm putting a third color on and I chose shaded spruce because it, it seemed to go best with the DSP we're going to be using. Alrighty, which one's shaded spruce? Let me just double check this one. I know I haven't labeled them. That looks very shaded spruce. You can there's a there's a fair bit of blue in shaded spruce. There goes YouTube. All right, so now we're adding color. And I think the signal went away for a second. I do, I like to apologize, <laughs> but it's nothing I'm doing, so sorry. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, it's still subtle, but you can see the darker. It doesn't look green, but it is because when you mix green and um, fresh freezer, apparently you get some really cool colors. Okay, set all this aside so we don't get inky. Now the really good news is, wait for it, I've already die cut these. There's our stamp set, so we'll set that aside. And we are going to work on our fun fold. All right, so here it is here, this way. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at the standard four and a quarter. And I'll show you here, I show my bone folder in my new, well, new old little carrier. I love finding things um, that I didn't, that I forgot I had. So I have it in a, all my special tools in a caddy that's working really well for me. And I noticed on the Pampered Chef site, it's not available anymore. Okay, so there we go. So I scored at, at four and a quarter. And then I scored again at one inch. And when we fold it and fold it back for this version of the card, this is what it looks like. That's your fun fold. But now we need our pieces. Now you know I give all the measurements during my video. So I just kind of figured typing it's kind of redundant, you know. Why don't I just dump out the pieces? That would be a good idea. There we go. So here's what I had done earlier. Well, as in yesterday. So I've done two of them. I'll probably use, I like this one a little bit, uh, you know, a minute bit better than the other. All right, so let's bring our pieces in. For this one, this is your front panel. I took the, I have to remember the name of the cane weave folder and ran it through just your regular. And this is, by the way, this is standard basic white. This isn't the um, thick. Um, the card's going to be thick enough, so you don't want to use thick on this one. So this is three inches by five and a half. So it's going to go top to bottom. Okay, let's get our glue. Make sure I have the new one. I do. We'll glue that down. So I'm going to be showing you all three ways. Like I said, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to make two of them, but I'm going to show you three ways to make the card. It's really simple. So top to bottom, there's going to be a little border. I know it's white, but you'll see it better on the second card. You can just see that there's a, Hold that down, Sandy. There's a border on both sides. And there we go. Okay, so on this card, nothing's going here. But when we open it up, we have got this DSP. Now, this is from, what's it called, Sandy? Heaven forbid I write it down. One moment. Is it, it's something designs. Oh, Dainty flowers. Well, that makes sense. Okay, and this is free with celebration. So, um, oh, so let's talk about the pieces. This piece is one and a quarter inches by five and a half. Again, top to bottom. 
It's going to go on this side. This piece is three inches by five and a half. So it's the exact same size as the front. The cool thing about this card is I could have put this on the front and the cane on the inside. You have options. So even when you see me making the card, um, you can do it your own way too. Now check this out. This is the back of the paper. I will show you all the paper because it is really beautiful. At first I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then I was like, are you nuts? Now this is directional. I can see that. And I have not so far put one on upside down and again we're going top to bottom and we're going to have a nice little border on both sides just hold that down with the with the liquid glue you can use whatever adhesive you like i, I like this one because i need wiggle time all right so this is the one and a quarter by five and a half piece and this is going to go right over to the edge so i'm going to hold it this is going to be a little awkward. I'm going to hold it this way. I know you're not going to be able to see anything for a second. There we go. So I can get it right down to the edge. This is how I have to do it. There. And then I still have wiggle time. Oh, I see a little bit of glue. Nope, we got it. I got it. And bring that back because I notice I can see it just a little bit on the back. There you go. That is your front fold, but let's finish it. Let's let's keep going and make it pretty. I wondered where my belly band went. I was like, oh, I don't see my belly band. Oh, no. Okay, so also in basic white, I cut this from layering, no, stylish shapes. And it's got the little uh, dots around it. And for this, it's kind of going to go like so. So I don't want to, I don't want to put any glue on the top flower. That's for sure. I'm just going to put some around on everybody in the middle. And then we'll put that on. If you need to go back and put on extra glue, you can always do that. Use your take your pick tool. I think I showed you this last week. Put a little bit of glue on the end and go under and just brush it under there. But I'm, I'm happy with this. Alrighty. Um, so I made a belly band, but for some reason, oh, because it was in last night's video apparently. This is making its second appearance. I cut it so this is one inch by nine and a quarter and you're going to score it on one side only at three inches so <laughs> I can't show you because I already did it but let's put this on you don't want it too tight but you also don't want it too loose so you're going to be it we always put uh, the um, the part that we glued together at the front because it's going to get covered up and it's not showing on the back at all which is lovely I'm not popping this up. We have lots going on here. Um, there's so many things you could do with this, by the way. Um, I'm gonna show you one little thing that I did do on my other sample. I was looking for my glue dots. Here we go, which is this. I took this ribbon. I'm gonna, I have to read this one for sure. It's from the ribbon combo pack of Real Red and Burlap. Now it says burlap. That sounds like it's gonna be really rough. It's not, it is soft and beautiful and pliable you know like you can and it just undoes so it's not it's I mean it's a really nice ribbon which I think you're like in real red well you can't go wrong with real red so what I'm gonna do we're doing the sneaky method oh this is nine inches long I believe did I go nine or nine not even a minute, a minute, a minute. I didn't write it down but it's about no it's about nine and a quarter now if you want you can put um, well, let's do it. Why don't I just show you? Let's put one of these in the back to hold this in place. Okay, hold that down. This probably is the better way to hold this so I can get it lined up. There we go. I should trim that end just a little bit. Well, that caddy is, is I don't even know why I looked at it for a year and a half and did nothing with it. Just It just sat, waiting for someone to go, hey, you need to be there. You need to work for Sandy. So the reason why, I was going to tell you, the reason why I only um, scored this one side is because if I score the other side, I can't really ensure 100% that that it's the right, um, the right hold on your card. I can't think of the word, but... You want to make sure that it's, it's again, not too tight, but not too loose. 
Alrighty, for this, now this is only going on the belly band, which is a little bit tricky. How did I do it on this one? Just looking to see what I did. Okay. Okay. I took, I used some of the Stampin' Seal to hold this down. So, I'm going to go, let's see how big this is. Why don't we do that? About there to there will be approximate. Let's see if I can get some up on the on the basic white as well. Not entirely, but it doesn't matter. It's not going anywhere. Angled, a little bit angled. All right, now you know what? There's there's one die that I I didn't really get to. I don't I did not show you very well. It's like what does that die do? Well, I'll show you. Not only does it cut, but it makes these beautiful lines. I'm hoping you can see that. And the other thing that's really cool with this die is see these ridges here? If you have just the word, like I had on one of the cards, um, I think it was, was it friend or love you? So what I did, you can actually feel this holding. So you cut it once. Doesn't matter about this. We have to pre use our pretend again. And then let's say it only, it's just this big, our sentiment. You cut it again, and it is right in those ridges, and it, it cuts beautifully. Like, I've done so many, and I was, stop that, it goes here. <laughs> I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to, to change that up. So this is from the set, and I, I had already stamped that in Rich Razzleberry. So we need, now we need the dimensionals which I had right before. That's the one thing that doesn't fit in. Oh, Sandy, what'd you do with them? Never fear, there's always minis near. I always have them nearby. I don't use them as much, so they're kind of waiting in the wings, you know? So for this card, there's no ribbon, but we are going to use embellishments for sure. And they're new from the catalog. So, now, what I wanted to say was, if, if you're commenting, and I hope you are, if you're commenting, I will have to look at them later, because you know I have a difficult time doing both at the same time. I'm going to go just a little bit below the ribbon, and like that. Now, here is, these are new, uh, pastel adhesive back sequins. You can tell which color I like the best. <laughs> you can tell my cards have been pink lately, can't you? And I best be putting the lid back on that. Alrighty. Now the cool thing about this, if you can see this, some have a little bit more purple in them, some a little bit more pink, and I, these actually, these guys, actually have a little bit of like, um, kind of like a peach color. I'm pretty sure you can't see that on the screen, but trust me. So for me, what I'll do is I'm going to just lean back a little bit, and I can find the slightly more purpley guys and use those. Options, options. Love it. I just think that is the coolest. I hadn't noticed it at first um, until I started using them. And then I was like, that's crazy. Love them. Say, that is card number one. Alrighty. There we go. And there we go. Lots of room to write the message, even though it, it looks small. You have lots and lots of room. Card number one, I hope you like it. Let me know. Now, I'm going to talk to you about bundles a little bit. When you're purchasing, I always buy the bundle. And you know why? Because you get 10% off. If you buy the stamps now and you go, oh, now I like the, now I like the dies, that actually will cost you 10% more because you're buying them separately. But there's something even better, even better. And that is, if let's say your shopping list, we have a brand new catalog. Let's say your shopping list has, eh, let's say a bundle or two. It's got DSP. Um, it's got embossing folder and maybe some embellishments. If your order is up to say a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars or so, you need to get the starter kit. I'll tell you why. There's three options. Okay, we will get to card number two, I promise. There's three options. And this, 
I have to say, I'm, I'm like really certain this is the best offer ever because you, I don't think I, I, in my time, there hasn't been choices on that. I can recall where you got three different choices. So I'm going to bring my handwriting closer to me so I can see it. Okay. Option one and two are almost identical. Um, option one, you get the boho blue mini machine, which is right here. It's just like the white one, but it's in a sneak peek of a new color. Oh yeah. Boho blue is going to be in the next, next catalog. Yes. So that's option one. Um, you get then, so you get that, then you get to choose $225 worth of products for $175. So you get the machine, then you get to, you get $225 in products for $175. I have to repeat that because it's like, are you kidding me? That's fantastic. Now, the only difference between option one and two is you can actually choose the white machine. If the boho blue is not your, not your thing, then you can get it in white. Solution. Option number three, also fantastic. It's different than previous, though. Um, you get to choose $225 of Stampin' Up! products of your choice for $135. That offer is usually um, you get to choose $165 in product for $135. So that's even better. That is better. And if you have the celebration flyer, it's on page number 18. Um, I am going to post this and hopefully it posts nice and clear because I, I had to make it bigger on the screen so I could read the print. But um, I think you'll really enjoy our team. We have a couple team members here. If they want to chime in and say, yes, you should join, then yeah, you should join. You should really, 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 really join. All righty. Now, oh, I forgot to tell you, oh, it ships free. Yes. Option one, option two, and option three all ship free. Um, that is a huge savings. And in most provinces, there is no tax. In Ontario, definitely no tax. Huh. Let's get on with it. I've said my piece already. So you've seen the fold. You've seen, you've seen the, the card. So it's the exact same measurements. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And bone folder. Did Sandy put it back in? No, she did not. I did not put it back where it goes. Give that a nice burnish. And then wondering what this is. It's a gift card holder or, or cash. Check it out. So this card's really pretty and I do want to show you that. It uses the same paper as the first card. And there we go. There's the pieces. All right. All right. Get. I don't need that. Get, get, get. Here's our pieces. I am using this side because I think that's gorgeous. I love that. But see what I mean about the pink? Like, wow. And same for the strip. So the same measurements. Just go back and watch that. And then, same as the first one, except this time, I use the stitched greenery die, which you know is my favorite die for making really... I hope you can see that. My camera, I think it's over here, actually. Oh, there we go. We're seeing more pattern now. It's my favorite. I will never sell it. It's true. It will not end up on any of my sales. I will keep using that until, well, until the day I die. Mm -hmm. Let's not get morbid, though. So, oh, I have to tell you something really cute while I'm gluing this. I said to my grandson, two things are happening. Um, well, one thing's happening in a little, a few months. He's turning three. And I said to him, what kind of cake do you want? And his usual answer, oh, this one's too big. Okay, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cut that down after the video. How do I make that more than five and a half? Check it out. It goes over the end. So I will fix that after the video. I'm not going to stop. Um, what kind of cake do you want? 
uh, pepperoni. I hope I didn't tell you this story because I always I hate repeating stories because it always sounds silly. But yeah, he wants a pepperoni cake. Um, I asked him another time, and what kind of cake do you want? He said he wants it to be a cake and eggs. Okay, you can have that because a cake will have cake and eggs in it. Okay, still we're ignoring that. Okay, so I've just done that strip. And then same as the first card, this strip over here. I have more cards to show you, by the way, using the, um, the same paper um, and different dies just because because I when I started making it I don't know what I was thinking okay all right so the front's done well except the making it pretty let's finish that part okay stitched st uh, stitched stitched rectangles um and then this is that branch I was telling you about the one that has the open isn't that pretty now I did not put the adhesive sheets on the back because this is going to go over the edge. So I'm going to strategically try to try to glue this. Okay, so the other thing I said, my I said to my um grandson, I said, "What's your favorite color?" He said, "Red." Okay. And grandma. So, I'm his favorite color. <laughs> Yeah, little little kids say the cutest things, and uh, I just I just think it's adorable. So I'm his red, and and I'm his favorite color. I think on my original, I actually cut these little ends off. I'm, I'm I'll decide this time if I'm going to or not. Let's just place it. And I again, I do want these to go over. I just like that. It's just like when we stamp when we stamp off the edge, it gives it movement, and I like that part. Alrighty, make sure that's glued down. Alrighty, so I'm gonna, going to, not gonna, this time I'm gonna use stamp and seal. And I really, I want this to stay put. This one does not have a belly band. Ooh, I went, oh, I didn't go too close to the edge. Phew, I thought I went too close to the edge. Let's do this and this just in case. Alright, about there. Just overhanging ever so slightly. And hopefully it's straight. Looks straight. Um, this. I wanted to show you where I got this from. Um, I don't know if you saw my card with the carrots that I, I made as trees. This is in here. And this is one of those cases where I've used that long die from the ginkgo branch. And I've shortened it down to fit the sentiment. And I just really thought that was pretty. So I'm going to put that on with mini dimensionals. You know what's going to happen is right after the video, I'll look and my, my dimensionals will be right in front of me. It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyway, I do thank you, by the way. I thank you for my comments with um, Facebook. It's, a, it's being weird. It was being weird last week, not letting me edit. <laughs> that's, that's so much fun. But um, your, your comments help. The algorithm likes that. And... It also likes your shares and just make sure that's straight and your likes. Okay, I'm going to go in here. Now, you do not, do not glue this, this entire thing. You'll be very disappointed because you won't be able to get your gift card in. You're going to glue the top and the bottom and then just hold that down until the glue is a little bit drier. So hang on to that. Um, if you wanted to put a belly band on this, you can. Any of them you can put belly bands on. Or choose not to. Oh, I was going to show you the paper, wasn't I? Yeah. Don't know if you've seen it. Anyway, um, I got this because I love the sentiments. This is a this is a celebration freebie as well. I love the sentiments, and I'm like, I am not wasting this stamp set. I'm going to use it. So this was my grass that I used. I just turned. This is this is an overlay for that, and this is the little plant. Or yeah, I used this one on the top of this one as the little plants at the bottom of the tree. I can dig that one out if you, if you want to see it. Oh, wait. Wait. It's right here. There it is. So, yeah. Grass and little plants. And then the trees. And the sentiment is some from 
celebration. I like to show you the celebration goodies so you can see them in action. So I think that's important. Oh, we're not done. We need to add some more of the sequins, same as the first card. And this time I'm going to aim for the ones that look a little more coral. So, oops, let's go right there. And, oh, they're jumpy. They're jumpy. And over here. And, and the same as the sample. Oh, oh, shot that one away. Okay, hang on to them, Sandy. Oh, almost got away. I got three that time. Apparently I'm stronger than I look. Okay. So I would love your opinion on this. Like, I really like it. And I think um, that the lady that designed these is, I just thought it's just the coolest. I really did. So that's that one. I have more. Now, I want to show you this first. You remember the, the bird with, from the nested friends? Well, when I started designing these, I started with the bird, not, the, not what I was going to stamp with. And I just want to show you, this is option three. So for this one, I simply took that flap and I glued it down this way. The rest of the card is the same measurements. Everything's the same. And I just, I really, really like that. And one with the belly band that I didn't quite put on tight enough. And just colored the bird. I think that's Rich Razzleberry. Use the raindrops folder for that. This is that same paper again. A couple more of the ginkgo branches. Thinking of you. I just did different colors with my um, daubers. No, I used my brushes. The, the blend brushes. Another one as they're clear and this is just um that's that same ribbon that we used and all i did was put a glue dot in between them as i squished them that's kind of cool and then this one so i used um knight of navy and i used uh er, no yeah early no evening evergreen for it so we have got a whole whack of cards here i'll leave the birdie ones out because they're not part of what we're making and I think there's one hiding under here. Yes, there is. Wow. There's our card. This is actually my least favorite, just so you know. It really is. All righty. Um, I do want you to consider joining my team. Um, they're fun. We have fun each month. We are not allowed to dangle carrots, so I can't say, I'll give you this, that, and the other thing. I can tell you that in our team meetings, we do draws. Um... And lately, we've been sending out, uh, and it, we're going to do it again this month, we've been sending out um, card pieces, all the pieces you need to make a card, and and then we put it together during our, our um, team meetings, which is lots of fun. I was just checking to see if I had one of those cards handy, but I don't. I do have this next one all designed and ready to go out, so ladies, do watch for that. Um, and I think that was everything. Whew, I feel like I've been talking forever, but I haven't. So thank you again. Um, share if you can with your friends. Anyone that you, oh, I forgot to show you the paper. Okay, I'll do it real quick. Boop. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think I have all the sheets because I've used so much. Cut this one in half. This is great for scrapbooking, but this makes a beautiful card just like that. And yes, I did make one. One of the gals on the team actually fussy cut this and the inside. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is pretty too. It's got more of a, a light green background. Love this one. Used it in one of the cards I showed you. Love this one. Quickly flip them over. Uh, again, free with celebration. There's a lot of free with celebration items and everything I believe I've shown you tonight is with a $60 order. But again, your best deal, honest, honestly, your absolute best deal is to join. You don't have to do what I do. You do not have to demonstrate. No. No, you can just be your own happy shopper. Okay, my friends, that's, that's all I have for you tonight. Uh, have a wonderful week. I will see you next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Bye-bye.